Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, we're creating some sort of, in some way, impact metrics. We know that some exist, but the way is the idea is that you should be able to show your impact and that it should be able to matter, for instance, for your tenure case or your grant outcomes. So that's a project that we'll talk about later. And a lot of people in this room have been working on this very project for a long time, right? So, so we realize that, and that's why we want to hear from you today as well. This is also your slide. Okay. Yeah, we, so we've done a number of projects. Uh, we're going to talk about three of them today. The first one is some sort of survey of professional organizations. So you could think like, I'm a psychologist, the American Psychological Association. It's like the premier blah, blah, blah in uh, psychology. Have they engaged with Wikipedia in any systematic way? So we're trying to measure that. Uh, second one is this survey of scientists that Matt is talking about. And in general, uh, at the end, we're hopefully going to be talking about ways that we can get grants together. Mm -hmm. And we have a grant about networking, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Here's the obligatory co-pilot AI uh, generated image. So what would that look like if you know researchers could more freely share their expertise in Wikimedia project and make knowledge public. Yes. What would it look like for them to be able to visualize that impact to their institutions to make it count in professional review, tenure review, um, promotions, et cetera, et cetera. So that's the kind of the core research project that I'm gonna be talking a little bit about um, in terms of some of our results so far, okay. Okay, so basically, really quickly, can I have a box? Yes. Basically, we did, uh, we had a rapid grant, thank you. Um, but it was basically about how do professional organizations engage with Wikipedia, do they at all, uh, and how do they? So we did uh, 100 North, we found, uh, yeah, we found, a database of professional organizations, and we looked at 100 North American organizations and 100 international organizations. They we set the minimum requirements at 10,000 members and a million dollars yearly budget. So these are sizable organizations because we did some random selection. Uh, basically, very few professional organizations are mentioning Wikipedia at all on their websites. So we basically went to their website, we searched for Wikipedia, we searched for Wikimedia, and <clears throat> Of course, we log the number of results that we got. For instance, like you go and maybe there's 100 or maybe there's zero. 80% of the organizations had zero mentions of Wikipedia. That is as a citation. That is as a, anything talking about Wikipedia, which is a problem in my opinion, obviously. Uh, and only about, uh, so we have about 20% left that have in some way mentioned Wikipedia on their website in their domain. 15% uh, approximately are using it as a source for like a picture, for instance, that's like the main thing that they're doing. And only about 5% have engaged in any way that is like an edit of Taran or et cetera, which is in my opinion, in our opinion. A like problem. a professional relationship with Wikipedia. At least having like one blog post or one news banner about a Wikimedia slash event, you know, so. Uh, some of them, for instance, uh, the International Council of Museums is one of like the, again, we don't have all of the professional organizations, we only look at 200 very many selected ones, but uh, International Council of Museums had 200 uh, approximately articles, uh, a few, some of them were related, uh, International Museum Day, that was like the main, uh, let's say, engagement. Uh, Another International Women's Day was the most uh, discussed event, let's say. They had three sources, so the Royal College of Surgeons, Science and Technology, Australia, and European Physical Society. So that's like the standout case, like three of 100 or three of 200 mentioned uh, this event. So we think there's a lot of opportunity for growth here. Next slide. Okay. Um, I didn't list this as a result, but basically if you look on, we also looked on Wikipedia, if the professional organization has a website on Wikipedia, like, you know, describing it and essentially every single uh, one had, I think it was like 98% had some sort of presence on Wikimedia. So meaning they had a Wikipedia article yeah. promoted to their professional association or organization. Yes. And so basically the conclusion is that most, you know, uh, they're kind of taking from Wikipedia, but not really 
contributing or at least much. benefiting benefiting yeah. let's say uh, whatever but um and yeah. we think or i think at least that wikimedia it seems perhaps that is because you know wikipedia was in a place of growth still like 10 15 years ago but now i believe we should start taking ourselves a little bit more seriously and we should start expecting more from these organizations uh so i think you know this is for you know you can imagine a paper like professional organizations are benefiting from wikipedia you know something like that uh, with a little poke to them uh, that they need to be doing more because it is the place where information is uh found. yeah yeah uh one thing so probably we will do uh sorry uh oh geez um this is your yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah but basically um we are thinking to do the same thing for academic journals. For instance, mm -hmm. Matt was just talking today, he was looking at Wikipedia, the premier journal in his field. It doesn't have a Wikipedia page. Uh, you know, something like that is a problem. Or why don't major science articles have Wikipedia pages, but TV, you know, okay. episodes of TV shows have, have Wikipedia pages. That's something that's slightly annoying for me, and I think for all of us. So, yeah. That's what this project is about. So one goal of that kind of initial project is yeah. to leverage the professional associations to get them working more with Wikimedia engagement, getting their membership to work more with Wikimedia engagement. Um, the second study and the main study that we're kind of talking about is this Wikimedia impact metrics. Um, we got a research fund grant. We're really thankful for that um, from Wikimedia uh, grants program. And this project is um, at its base, um, a survey of, I'm gonna kind of slowly put it, Wikimedia engaged academic and research, academics and um, scientific researchers. So I know that there are a number of people, it is kind of a niche uh, role, but there are a number, number of us who work at universities, we publish in our field, often we publish um, pieces to get other academics, and we go out to conferences to get other academics to contribute to Wikipedia in their subject areas. Um, this is the type of person that we're targeting for this particular survey. And it's basically asking, how would you, as someone who does this type of work, like to indicate your impact to your institution, for instance. How right? do you? And how how like do to? you and how would you like to? Okay, so we have a QR code. We're going to take a, like a five minute break. Do you want to? I think we have time still. Yeah, at least people can check out the survey. Yeah. If you don't feel like you meet the criteria. Has anybody taken it? I would not encourage you to take it if you don't feel like you meet the criteria. But if you feel like you do, maybe you could start it, take a look at it right now. And finish it later, Chris. What what are the criteria? Are you, do you need the criteria are academic? are you're someone who contributes to a particular specialty field um, as kind of someone as like a researcher or a scientist? Yeah. So you are a Wikimedia engaged academic, as I put it. And if you're a yeah. Former academic that we can probably yes. If you have an opinion, correct. we would appreciate it. Oh, if you're a former <laughs> academic, do you edit like in your former academic specialty? No, no. <laughs> I think, I think, but, but I which have, is really interesting because a lot of have, people. But I have published in more Wikimedia facing publications, like yeah. when there's some alignment. So I have yeah. like one publication with uh, a set of other researchers mm -hmm. related to Wikimedia kind of related topics. Yeah, yeah. We would love for you to look at the survey, no, just take the survey. but not take the survey. Right. Right. Well, <laughs> just maybe put in the comment section. I'm not necessarily an academic. There's a section at the end where you can leave any comments. Understood. But it is interesting that even a lot of academics who are whatever, like practicing academics, it sounds like practicing Catholics or something, but practicing <laughs> academics, even they may they may not, they still may not edit in their field. Like they just like to edit more niche topics or you know, do random kind of things on Wikipedia. Um, but for those of you who say, for me, I'm in the English department, I do writing studies, um, I'm a co-chair of a Four Seas Wikipedia initiative, which is like trying to get others in my field mm -hmm. to improve representations of writing studies, you know, so like going to the page on writing process or collaborative writing, 
and actually trying to bring in some of the more current research. Um, so that's like our ideal participant across the disciplines, but I'd love to get your take on it just the same. Just from, to kind from, of like- From the survey. Yeah, uh, you, you can kind yeah, of take a look at it. Well, we also want, I think we should maximize the discussion time. So let's yeah. move past. As in, does anybody still need to take a picture? Yeah, next slide. All right, so some of the methods that we engaged in, um, it's a survey, you guys are looking at it. We distributed it across social media, Wikimedia listservs, et cetera, targeted a couple specific individuals. Um, here are some of the preliminary findings so far. And I chose some of the more interesting questions, but like questions like, are there specific aspects that make Wikimedia engagement not valued when compared to other open or public types of research activity? Um, so for instance, academics feel like in their institutions for promotion and tenure, there is a preference for traditional academic outputs like journal articles, 78%. So these are some of our um, most selected drop-down options. There's a lack of formal recognition or incentives for contributing, which in my role as co-chair of the, the, the Writing Studies Wikipedia Initiative, we've tried to institute an award that's given at the conference, like to try to actually kind of formalize that recognition. Um, concerns about how contributions would be evaluated in a scholarly context, right? How does that um, tenure and promotion committee actually measure this thing that you did, right? Limited integration of Wikimedia engagement into promotion or tenure criteria perceptions of Wikipedia's reliability in my field, okay? So those are some of the most selected reasons that people say, this is why it feels like extra work that's not being counted, right? And maybe it sounds familiar. So does it sound familiar to some people or not? I, yeah. think I have one difficulty with the survey and that would be, if you have it explicitly said what kind of engagement with Wikimedia, because I can write articles until the end of time and that will be considered the same as if I write a journal article about Wikipedia or a journal. Yeah, but that's of course traditional academic. Oh, no, 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 no. So it's like, um, are you contributing to Wikimedia as an academic, as an expert in your field? Okay. That's the criteria. So it doesn't matter if I write journal articles to the end of time about Wikipedia. Of course it does for tenure, et cetera. It, you're not counting that. We're not, like, like we're trying to look at it from the other side of the coin, I guess. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm just yeah. wondering if that comes across in the survey. Maybe we'll there look. is kind of a question about, like, what other things do you do to kind of promote this? So it does That's come true. in a little bit, but it's not looking at that as much. But that, I think that that is a very, a, is a very relevant avenue to go down as well. Yeah. Yes, of course, I think most people doing research or as academics are working on research about Wikipedia, that's how they probably keep their jobs. Right, Please. that's, I mean, and Lori, yeah. like that's how we have been able to, because I've done a lot of the same things as you, that's how we've been able to translate to our institution the value of this work is discussing the work in a more traditional scholarly output, yeah. right? And, and, yeah. and at my institution, when I went up for full, I didn't want to shoot other Wikimedians in the foot, but <laughs> I put it all in service. So that could be another yeah. avenue to look into. Yeah. It would count as service and not academic. Yeah, that just Scholarship. feels wrong to me, though. But that's but good it's painful. Asked. Like, I put a lot of that stuff in service, too, and it's still not really counted because they're like, what? what's this service stuff that doesn't apply to our immediate campus? You know what I mean? Oh, my, my campus doesn't care about service being at the campus. Oh. It can be anywhere. Oh, yeah. We need to but I think it still values less. Do you want to come up to IU's branch campus in Pennsylvania? It's <laughs> great. <laughs> okay, please. You had a question, yes? And you have a question. I'm sorry. Wonder if uh, anybody was asked about the issue of uh, potential the potential for academics to get into conflict with the end of Wikipedia and the potential for reputational damage. Yes. If, uh, he also sort of gets out about how bad a Wikipedia they were. Uh, the world is a very big place. I think that's not a I mean, of course. It just wasn't, wasn't an issue for I don't know. Um, I think it could be a, a, yeah. a certainly a potential issue without proper like training and support. Yeah, so it's something like academics going in. I mean, I think that 
the wiki ed folks could probably tell us a few stories about that, right? How that might happen. Yeah. So we need proper training and support for these academics so that when they do go in, they have a sense of what they're yes. doing. Yeah. I mean, the, the problem, our problem, I think, is that nobody cares about Wikipedia edits, so then probably nobody really cares about it. From, from the academic perspective, yes, yeah, yes. in the back. This lady has a question for like Yeah, I mean, my, my question is really, uh, in some ways related to kind of the point four here, so that's that's actually nicely timely. Um, because my question is sort of how, you know, we have, we have Wikipedia and we have one of the criteria for editing on Wikipedia is that you do not write around, jump around your own work. Yes. It's it's similar if problem. you're an institution like the ones you were surveying, yeah. You're being told that you cannot touch that page, you cannot engage with that page, you have no yes. availability there to contribute. So my question is, how do you how are you dealing with that? Are there ways that you are sort of I hope we can get to that in the discussion section mm -hmm. because it's something it's a huge I think it's a big problem. Have we uh, world so like for instance, not adding references to your work. Or is it a broader prohibition about you not, not editing in your subject? It can be both. See, I, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. I would love saying, to have I'm some clarity on that. That's what's that. appropriate there. But uh, but I do think, I mean, I do work as a Wikipedian in residence with scientists, mm -hmm. and I write a lot about science and think a lot about metrics. Um, so yeah, in the in the most immediate you know, way that gets inter that gets interpreted as you cannot cite the thing you have written. But if you get into some kind of contentious argument, there is every possibility that you will be told that you can no longer edit in the field that you're writing that. Well, sure, like because so, you you can't use your expertise you or your advanced yeah, degree you as as your expertise a reason your for being an authority on a subject. Yeah, but you're it, it, there's a very strong danger that you will be just told not to edit on those topics. Mm. Yeah. So it's really, it's a really difficult. Um, Who is talking about yeah, Have you done, is there a journal, a paper, let's say, or uh, I don't know, I'm not, some you know, I, <laughs> I'm not sure what the, the most relevant thing to look, yes, look at would be. We got a lot of opinions. There's a lot, yeah, there's a lot of questions. Um, I would say it doesn't really matter what the rules are. If Wikipedia admin or editor wants to bully you off the website, they will. <laughs> uh, okay, go ahead, yeah, Zach. Yeah. Uh, I, That's true too. I, I mean, there's a lot of things coming from a variety of spaces. Obviously, like later on, you're going to do uh, what does the institutional uh, change look like even after you publish research? Because let's be honest, every institution is different. So, like figuring out how to actually make this work, if it if it happens, could take. Centers. Yeah. Uh, that's how academia works. But yeah, I think what's the more interesting conversation going back to the, this uh, one over here was that you know when Wiki Education started up way back in the day, there was a giant conversation about COI mm -hmm. students saying mm -hmm. and students editing was conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. Now. I don't know how all you if all you all remember this thing. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> um, I can name some names, of people, <laughs> or at least usernames. Um, but what I think is interesting is that the the, the community has evolved because, like, I don't think there's any. I mean, maybe there are people in this room that still think that uh, students editing for a, a for a, a paper is conflict of interest these days, but I think that it went from there was active discussion where there was people about it to like this is pretty much accepted practices i think that the other question here that that you know we're, we're kind of maybe we need to have a better conversation about like what is coi when it comes to editing field and now that's that's going to be fraught because a i mean that you and i write a lot we self-cite constantly why? Because we're the ones who in academic the journals. journals. <laughs> well, because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just wanted to clarify that, that that's yeah, not that's in Wikipedia, but in academic journals. Yeah, yeah, in academic yeah. journals. Because that's standard practice when you are like when you wrote all the studies that you're building off of, right? So we need to be able to have some level of, of discussion around that, but like that's difficult because like I was literally talking with someone yesterday about the uh, um, 
you know, ultra marathoner that you all heard of that is uh, uh, editing other people's Wikipedia pages. Well, apparently there are academics out there that like nominate each other's pages for deletion and stuff. So like the pettiness <laughs> knows no bounds. Oh yeah. And so yeah. we need we need to be able to like both you know bring this up, but also like make sure that we, we protect from like you know this the petty edit wars between because yeah. we all know academics are the most petty. <laughs> it is definitely a very tricky, volatile space to say, let's get these professors editing more in their field. Right. Right. But I think it's worth keeping on and trying to go after that because it can change the landscape of higher education as much as it can add more contribution to Wikimedia projects. Right. If more. Um, academics and professors are doing that along with their students, right? So that's kind of the, the underlying goal, but I do realize it's very fraught. And I think that was like the whole first six months of our conversations was like us saying, well, what about this problem? What about that problem, right? Uh, but definitely COI in terms of like referencing your own work. And I, one of the first, when I joined my institution and, and held the first edit-a-thon that I did, My department chair was in there like adding his own work to scholarly articles on Wikipedia. So there, there's this there's this level of like narcissism plus misunderstanding in academia that it's really hard to get over sometimes. I think another thing is that you don't really get credit even. I mean, if I write an academic article, I'm the author of it. Yeah. And people can see that I'm the author, but don't people don't see I'm an author. I'm a, so we want to change that. Mm -hmm. But yeah. even even if it's a little bit less controversial, like for instance, you mentioned few journals have a, a Wikipedia article. Mm -hmm. It's a fact. I mean, there's nothing. The journal exists or does not exist. Right. But if you are related to the journal, you cannot create a bit for the journal. So right. you would need somebody really. Um, so that's what I'm engaged in right now. And the journal in my field, they approached us as like the discipline, uh, disciplinary Wikipedia initiative. Can you help us work on this page? Right. Does that like, do you think that that represents COI or not? So I've been working on their page and then we're going to do like a little event where we just say, hey, you know, let's invite other academics in writing studies. Why is it important to have a Wikipedia article about the journal? Mm -hmm. What kinds of stuff goes in there? You know, impact factor metrics, you know, scope, topic, those types of things. Yeah, when I'm when I'm I've, I've actually got a. I've got a workbook that I'm talking about on Sunday called the Wikipedia Workbook for Cultural Institutions that goes into a lot of this stuff at a very high level. Okay. Um, and the, the usual advice that I use when I'm training people is, am I the person being written about in the, am I the person that, that the article's about? Nope. Right. Am well, I being paid list. by the person that the article's about? Nope. Yeah. Did I write the paper that I'm citing? Nope. Good to go. Did I write that? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. you know, those are like, but so that's, that's a very tight criteria, and there are people mm -hmm. that will definitely yeah. argue with it because I think there's still yeah. this distrust of experts and expertise. Yeah. Um, that's going to change. I think and I'd like to see that change. And, and yeah. the hardest people to write about in terms of, the, of, of scientists are the ones that are absolutely at the top of their field because they're the ones that are asked yeah. to write the review articles and the textbooks and all the things that we would They have decide. a lot of, they have and a lot of influence and power. Write about them. Yeah. Because everything that really goes in deep is by that. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, I'm not an academic and I am still a dude. So, mm -hmm. yeah, but I feel like the uh, reverse of so many of these uh, statistics uh, would be the case for like curatorial work and mm -hmm. um, a, a lot of the arts space. I think a lot of those people actually prefer um, to be able to talk about their work and publish their work more openly on a platform like Yes. W one thing that we still want to talk about, I hope we have time because we have like 15 minutes now, is we are building some sort of networks and uh, can I at least go over, can I at least go over course, these though? Because <laughs> to me, we're like the very, the heart of the, the survey was, um, 
basically like, okay, what does what what can we pull from like wiki statistics, right? What can actually be pulled? What could be worked into some sort of um, adaptation of a dashboard by by Sage, right? And what did people that took the survey prefer most? Like what had the most value to them in terms of some of these these metrics? And it wasn't yeah. interesting. Interestingly, it wasn't references to my own work that I would want to see either put there by me or by others, references to work in your field. If I could show other people at my institution, other people on these committees, um, that a lot of the work that I'm doing is increasing references to work in my field, that will um, have value to them, okay? So that was the most valuable chosen metric when we're thinking about like what kinds of actual hard statistics could I um, give to the people around me in academia to show them that this is valuable work? Is this making sense for people? Okay, yeah. New articles added, the second most valuable. New editors recruited or trained, right? A lot of that could be done in a kind of wiki education model. Article views, total views, total words contrib um, contributed. So those are the most value, like the top five, and then the least value, least valuable edit count. I thought edit count was, it was interesting to me that edit count was in that, that bottom um, six of the list, as well as references to your own work, okay? So, so far, what we're seeing is like, these are the things that would, academics would love to be able to show their institutions the most. So, yeah, go ahead. Uh, so in terms of, Words contributed. Um, uh, was there, a, or did you did you ask people if they're interested in how many of those words stick? Right. Yeah, yeah, I should have mentioned that. For all of these, we assumed and not reverted. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, and stuck, yeah. Okay, so maybe we might be getting some metrics metrics on the back with them about retention, about uh, sickness. I can't promise anything, yeah. especially without yes. sage. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, but you'd always have to like say like well, what period period of time and it would, it's tricky. Yeah, has there ever been ever been any um, <clears throat> thinking into whether uh, this is obviously not an easy kind of metric to collect, but because articles are intended to generally be written at a level that's sort of maybe one level down mm -hmm. academically mm -hmm. from the mm -hmm. discipline or the kind of level you would normally encounter. That Another topic. one of those big kind of problems. Yeah, is, there, is, there, is there a way to evaluate for like a set of non-experts? Is this article useful and accessible to understand this topic as a way to evaluate impacts? There's definitely some new metrics that we heard about at Wikimania to assess readability. Uh, yeah. I think there's a way to do it, but I'm not very familiar with it. So I'd love it if someone could fill me in on it maybe later. Yeah, too. I mean, one yeah. one kind of, this is a not complete idea, but one approach that could be involved with this is there are definitely measures to kind of evaluate a, you know, a corpus of text mm -hmm. to evaluate like at what level of like English, if it's written in English, um, uh, like what's the kind of complexity yeah. this, this yeah. article is written in to kind of just gauge at least from a, a kind of basic analysis standpoint. But for me, it's a matter of if 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 you're wanting to share this with a broader audience, is it being written in a way that's actually accessible to them? Right. To me, to me, that's one dimension of impact that's important to gauge if that is the goal. Because that's what academics are, a lot of academics are not in fact good at is writing in an accessible way, right? And, and, and maybe not every maybe not every like discipline or topic that's written about is, is yeah. intended to be for yeah. a, a very large audience, which is okay depending on the topic. But uh, but in a lot of cases I think a lot of academics do want to make sure that some aspects of their work and topics they write about uh, can be understood by a broader audience, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean that's the benefit of having their work explored a lot. Yes, exactly. Do you want to talk about the other stuff? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna toss it back to Brett here. Okay. Basically, the, how many of you are actively being paid for your work on Wikimedia? 
Long week, two, three, four. Most of you work. How many of you work for the Wikimedia Foundation in some way, <laughs> or are generally funded by Wikimedia? Okay, it doesn't matter. The point is that, uh, in my opinion, we as academics should be looking for ways to get grants from state funders and to position Wikimedia as a more serious funding agency, as a funding outcome, let's say. Um, so one thing that we are doing is starting to apply. This is a cost action. Basically, it's for networking, and the main outcome of the grant should be other grants. This is a networking grant. Uh, it's for four years. It's a European grant. One outcome of this meeting would be, it would be great if we could find a similar grant in the US. So one thing that Wikipedia is very fantastic at, I believe, relative to other academic things, is networking. So for instance, for this grant, you need people from seven nations, four of which need to be on a list of blah, blah, blah. And I think there's a big opportunity, for instance, you know, we can target it a grant from the NSF that needs five states or something like that, you know, and there's at least 10 states in there, you know, so something like that I think is a very low hanging fruit. So with our final 10 minutes or five minutes even, uh, okay, well, we don't want to, okay, the Which point, yeah, with? well, I think it is, okay, we have some working groups, working groups are great, okay, okay, so we have some working groups addressing your question. Okay, this is a grant about, conferences. So we're going to try to develop some sort of conference for Wikimedia Science, Science on Wikimedia. We're calling it Wikisci to have it out there. Um, and yes, we have, there's a four-year plan, blah, blah, blah. It's due at the end of the month. So if any of you are in mm -hmm. European nations, I would be happy to talk to you later. But uh, we're focusing on Training for new contributors, that is training scientists, that's very much what he had, et cetera. Uh, we're talking about making the argument in general. So we want to write some sort of large author number paper where we say science should engage with Wikipedia. Um, we're working on mechanisms of reward. We have this Wikimedia impact metrics, Wikimedia visualizer, et cetera. Uh, we have putting science on Wikipedia. So this is like actually working with journals to when they publish a paper, put something about the paper onto Wikipedia. Another thing that we have, I don't know how much you know about top guidelines, but this is like a transparency and openness. So uh, it was a very successful initiative a few years ago. Uh, if your organization should sign on to being open, and they got a bunch of organizations and they've made a lot of change. If we could do something like that for Wikipedia, you know, as a grant outcome. So something that we're working on. Uh, we're working on disciplinary organizations. Uh, so that is like getting a group of psychologists to adopt articles on psychology and to monitor them and to edit them in systematic ways. Uh, we're working on things in, um, in museums and galleries to put their stuff online. And then after a year, use these Wikipedia impact metrics to show the large amount of impact that they are having to then go back to their organization and say, five minutes, yes, uh, to go back to their organization and say, we should be engaging more. Uh, and in general, the idea is to get grants to enable more work. I think a big problem that Wikimedia has is resources and getting people paid. And I think science and national funders have the resources. So we just need to make Wikipedia a little bit more serious, let's say, in their mind, um, we did a small, another small study, like basically for this cost, it's a big European level, European commission level thing. But if you look for Wikipedia on the cost yeah. website, hello, um, if you look for Wikipedia on the cost website, only one cost action in like out of a thousand has mentioned Wikipedia in any way. So that cost ended in 2017. So why is it the case that, you know, it's like the world knowledge base uh, that should not be, no. So we're doing one, please, you have a question. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, I mean, ju just the idea, and I would very much like to spend our final minutes here, like finding ways that we can work together to get paid to do this sort of work. So that's all I want to say. Please, yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, 
primary versus secondary sources. So okay. like, if it's an automatic thing, okay, journal article, as in the Wikipedia, most journal articles are going to be primary sources, and we want the secondary sources. We want to emphasize the secondary sources. Right. Often primary sources are way too early to be in Wikipedia. Um, so I wonder if that's part of, you know, trying to, trying to, there are lots of problems. I think, for instance, alt metrics. There's an alt metric 100. It's the most discussed media papers uh, of the year. Each paper has been mentioned by a thousand news st stations. But if you look, very few of the alt metric 100 are on Wikimedia, and that's a big problem. In in my discipline initiative, yeah, we definitely recommend like handbooks and other kind of secondary yeah. tertiary oh. sources. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and there is kind of a lag between like yeah, definitely like cutting edge research. One of the other intermediate uh, mediaries there can be wiki journals. Uh, Andrew Andrew Lung's project, and I think that there's a lot of good that can be done to both get more academics publishing in wiki journals. And then integrating some of that into the Wikipedia article. Yeah. Uh, we'll go to Zach and then. So this, no, this lady. Oh, okay, yeah. 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 Zach, um, uh, I think just since July, down the lane of uh, the science, you know, silo, uh, it, it, would there be anything to stop uh, people that are involved with this scheme? to apply for that kind of grant or to, I mean, it, it's disturbing to me to see that it's being driven just to, you know, to silence rather than other inputs really. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is specifically this cost is cooperation on science and technology. So for this grant, it needs to be focused on science and technology. Of course, we are open. For instance, we already have, I know we only have two minutes or one left, but we are already developing other grants in the future. We have this um, this Opus Lab. It's like for people. So the idea really what we don't have time, but um, you know, this is a grant for people from Poland, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, and one other nation. Yeah. So already we have this group of people from Europe that are working on this, and we're now applying for this. You know, this grant is due in November. The other grant is due in December, and we're looking. Okay, what can we apply to in February? What can we apply to in March? So that next year we have funds to do more things, you know. So that's that. And and at that point, I'll be very happy if you do an arts grant or any sort of, and we will support you with that. Please. Oh. Maybe like one more. Yeah, so. Can we get to Zach? Then maybe that. Do yeah, we stop at five to, till or? or it's not. Like one, but I mean, yeah. Just go right though. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to briefly mention that the, the whole idea of uh, uh, academic work as primary versus secondary is that's a really fuzzy line and it's super dependent on the field, right? I mean, in typical kind of quant kind of publications, a lot of times they just do descriptive data. Obviously, that would be primary, mm -hmm. but like the majority of things, especially if you're looking at stuff with high citation count, like as they've been adopted, like I, I think that. You, you see a lot of that on Wikipedia, I think that's fine, especially when it comes to folks like, you can't write about, you know, Judith Butler without writing about Judith Butler's right. books. Right, exactly, right. And, right. and that, yeah. those were yeah. technically primary because yeah. it's it's those are the ideas. And the representation of film is the right. same way. Right. So I think that too. a lot of, it really is uh, dependent in a lot of the social science, uh, or especially a lot of the humanities, you're gonna find a lot of those to be, uh, to be relevant within there, even though they're technically primary because they're published, but like, but they mean, well, a lot of times we, we get that fuzzy here in Wikipedia because it's like, mm -hmm. primary is about the data and the thing that happened. Mm -hmm. Secondary is about what you say about it. And when we take data and then analyze it, that analysis is secondary. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think that true. we should we should be more clear about how we define that across disciplines. And recognize we are creating it. This. We are the ones who created this. Yeah. Right. Um, and I think it's yeah. Well, I think we could take a holistic one. way to bring in journalists, um, research, and the arts um, that helps manifest the the, the 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 Wikimedia portion of the whole thing. I just got a grant. I work at a film institution, uh, the Alfred P. Sloan uh, Science on Screen um, awesome. grant. Yeah. And yeah. I can budget in for people being part of the editing documentation process for Wiki 
Wikipedia from the We're these talk. scientists researchers <laughs> that are part of the conversation of what through the guidelines of the grant has to be accessible by films that oh, bring people into a conversation about uh, or a deeper conversation about the science at play in the film or that can be alluded to in the in, in what is a more engaging and hard film. And I can see that as a much more like like this is how we all get paid and because we're all getting paid that helps us look for more grants yeah, and overall helps more accessibility for the whole thing. Yes. Yeah. Well, I didn't even mention we have a Wikimedia in residence thing. We're trying to professionalize all these things. So the idea is not necessarily to get paid ourselves, but to help you all get paid as well, you know, even more because we both have decent jobs at this point. So, but we, you know, yeah. <laughs> thank you very much for being here.